So I just wanted to make a video talking about why I think the Pittsburgh Pirates will be trading Brian Reynolds to the Toronto Blue Jays this offseason and why it makes perfect sense for the Toronto Blue Jays to do so. So uh, the first point I want to make here is that the Blue Jays have been looking for a left-handed hitting player this offseason. Uh, the Blue Jays are a predominantly right-handed hitting group, uh, which, you know, isn't exactly great uh, for matchups and stuff, uh, especially down the stretch in the playoffs. So uh, the Toronto Blue Jays have identified the fact that uh, they are short some left-handed hitting and they want to address that need this offseason. They have been linked to a lot of players in free agency, but uh, now with the Brian Reynolds news coming out of him wanting to be traded, uh, this could definitely, I guess, expedite the process of the Blue Jays uh, potentially exploring a Brian Reynolds trade uh, as he would fit a positional need um, in the outfield, which I'll, which I'll touch on a little bit later. But also, too, more importantly, I would be a left-handed hitting bat to add to their lineup. So, uh, you know, just the fact that the Blue Jays are looking for a left-handed bat and Brad Reynolds is just, is exactly that. And he's also a high-caliber left-handed hitting uh, player uh, could check a lot of boxes for the Blue Jays. Now, as I touched on before, uh, the Blue Jays are currently looking for an outfielder. Uh, we've seen them link to Brandon Nimmo and Cody Bellinger this offseason in free agency, uh, both of which are left-handed hitting as well, uh, but can play the outfield position um, very well. Also, uh, so now that you can add uh, Brian Reynolds to this list as a player that uh, checks both boxes in regards to an outfielder, uh, but also a left-handed hitting player. So uh, if the Blue Jays are unable to get one of Cody Bellinger or Brandon Nemo or maybe some other players in free agency, uh, this could cause them to pivot towards the uh, the trade market and offer up a trade uh, to the Pittsburgh Pirates for Brian Reynolds, who, like I said before, checks both those boxes, a left-handed hitting player and an outfielder. Now, the last uh, last point I want to make for this video is just the Blue Jays have some prospects to make this work. Uh, Gabriel Moreno is probably the biggest one uh, in the Toronto Blue Jays system. Uh, there's some other players as well, uh, but I think Gabriel Moreno is probably the prospect that most teams would covet in a Blue Jays trade. Uh, now, Gabriel Moreno is a tremendous player, but uh, with Alejandro Kirk and the emergence of him last year uh, at the catcher position, uh, as well as you know Danny Jansen, they have some depth at the catcher position as well. Uh, and with the catcher position being as coveted as it is around Major League Baseball, uh, Gabriel Moreno could definitely be involved in a trade package of some sort, you would think. Uh, so maybe if the Pittsburgh Pirates have their sights set uh, on acquiring him, maybe some other players as well, whatever the case may be, uh, maybe uh, the Toronto Blue Jays, in my opinion, have uh, the assets to make a Brian Reynolds trade work uh, and would be able to do so this offseason. So I just wanted to make a video talking about why I think the Pittsburgh Pirates will be signing or will be trading Brian Reynolds uh, to the Toronto Blue Jays this season and why it makes sense for them to do so. Leave your thoughts down below as always. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.